That's my keys, we don't need those, right? There you go, all right. So here what we have this problem is we have f of x equals x minus two squared plus three. And what they want us to do is find the vertex and then also find the x-intercepts. So what I have here is I have this definition of a quadratic and also the standard form of the quadratic. And the great thing about having both of those is usually we're gonna have quadratics that are gonna come in this form. However, if we can transform them or they already come in this form, it's very easy, easy for us to determine the vertex, which is h comma k. Notice, vertex is h comma k. Standard form is x minus h squared plus k. So that comes in handy because when we look at this, we could automatically say that the vertex in this problem is going to be positive 6, 3. It's very fast. It's very easy. I didn't even have to do really much math. The main important thing to understand is a lot of students want to say it's negative uh, 6 for your vertex. But remember, if vertex was h, then inside the parentheses it's x minus h. So if this is 6, it's going to be x minus 6. Very important point to note. So now the next thing we need to do is determine what the x-intercepts are. So remember, if I'm going to be graphing something, all right, the point, let's say here's my f of x is my output, and x is going to be my input. Remember, where a graph crosses the x-axis, you have f of x is equal to 0. So to solve for this, I'll solve for my values of x where it crosses, I simply just need to plug in 0 in for f of x. So 0 equals x minus 6 squared plus 3. Now what I simply need to do is isolate my variable. Right? Come on now. Have a little fun. So subtract 3. Negative 3 equals x minus 6 squared. Now I need to undo my square root. So I'm going to root both sides. And then I look like I have a problem. I cannot take the square root of a negative number, right? There's not such a thing as a number that's the same that multiplies to give you a negative number. So really what my graph looks like is probably something, uh, well, it's going to be positive. But it's probably going to be actually look like something like that, where it does not cross. So what I'm just going to write is there are no real roots. And later on in uh, this course, we'll learn about how to actually find the imaginary roots for this problem. But for, that, for, for right now, we'll leave it at that. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.